So we're looking at the 93 Xabi Alonso. Lovely upgrade. He's got a quadruple since his Thunderstruck. He's a 4-4. Decent pace increase. Let's have a look at the card then. High high, six foot, CDM or center mid. In terms of the play style plus, we have intercept, which is perfect for a DM, and then also a long ball pass, which is pretty good for a center mid, not gonna lie. Then in terms of the difference then, we've obviously got him coming in at about 660. Now in difference of everything, we've had a 10 pace increase, six on the defending, seven physical, nine on the dribbling, which is nice, seven on shooting and five on passing. What we're looking at here is only free composure, but he already had 91, so that's pretty good in itself. So it's a very, very nice upgrade on him. The question is, does it make him relevant? Because when when it comes to Xabi Alonso, he just is one of them ones that is there and that is it. Pep Guardiola was the same, very bog standard, nothing too flashy and there's just not a lot in it. Whereas this card's starting to ramp up a little bit. I can imagine when it comes to the Xabi Alonso's, the Xavi's, the uh, kind of Perlo, well, to be fair, Perlo actually did get a pretty good one. Xavi did get the team of the year, but I think that now needs an upgrade. But someone like a Gattuso, somebody like a Schweinsteiger, they need the footies upgrade. They need the 96, the 97, 90 on the pace. This card is, is definitely getting there. Decent amount of pace, defending, dribbling, physical, all above 90, as well as the passing, which he already was good for. Let's jump into him and see, is he worth it? If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. Good spin off him, nice. Find something, good ball into Mbappe. And going to sneak it. Into him again with an intercept. Takes the touch. Was hoping for a free kick. I want to see what that free kick ability is all about, to be fair. What we got? Don't even know what the free kick stats are. We've got 91. I mean, that, that should be a pretty good amount, to be honest. Back into him again. Again, as we just managed to squeeze by, trying a bit too much with him. I think he should be kind of more... Oh, that's a good ball. Good save. Let's get it out again. He kind of needs to be that savior that, that passes the ball away. Looking for that little through ball. Something along them lines. As well as, as, well as then having that intercept and also long ball pass. We've just got to use it to the advantage more than anything. His, his pace seems to be good, but... You're not going to be dribbling past three or four people like that. That isn't going to happen. And to be honest, I don't think even if you've got like a top end Xabi Alonso, he isn't going to be doing that. Into Xabi Alonso looking for the through ball if we can. He finds a bit of Mbappe and Mbappe finds the back of the floor. Big interception. Love intercept on a CDM. It just works so well. Looking for that ball though. Straight into Coleman. Little touch, and thank you very much. Knew he was going to do that. I don't know why anybody slides there, especially at 1 1. You might as well just let me go forward and just keep running with me. Let's have a look at C. Has he got any penalties? 90 penalties, which I mean, it should be good enough. 93, 91, 84, 90. I mean, they're not the greatest free kicks, but to be fair, I. Oh. <laughs> to be fair, I wasn't expecting. But starting a new match, the one thing that I'm thinking with him is is kind of where is he actually going to finish, like price-wise. We've got him at 680 at the moment, but we are getting into the nighttime period. So I can imagine he will kind of... Wow, that was bad. <laughs> that was awful. But I can imagine he will get like a little bit higher on the price. Then he'll drop again. It will be interesting to see where he actually kind of stands at because... As it stands, I don't know what sort of centre mid I'd kind of pay that amount for. It'd be interesting to see kind of in a once we get to the end to see what's the price of centre mids. What what is actually in that price bracket? Because I feel like there's definitely going to be quite a few in the really high bracket that I maybe don't know about or maybe I have forgot about. But I, I don't know if they're going to be cons like consistently better than him or if I'm just thinking that centre mids are a little bit cheaper nowadays. To 
Into the middle with him. Take a little bit of a touch. Look for that Mbappe through ball. It's a solid through ball. Oh, and he does him. Oh, and he gets it a tap in. Beautiful. Get that tackle as well. Oh, he's kept the ball. He's kept it again. Who on earth is that? Get the challenge. Lovely. And away. Little long ball. Nice. That's what I mean. The long ball pass. It may not be everyday use, but it does work pretty well. Good interception. Sees an Mbappe ball. Oh, it's beautiful. El Warren's going to finish it off. That is where the passing really comes in. And I think that's that's where he leaves his mark. In, in the passing as well now as, as defensive upgrade, it works in unison together. It doesn't have to be necessarily the number one box to box, but as a center mid and a CDM together, definitely works really, really well. As we get the tackle again, and it's... Oh, it's a corner. We got the block. Very nice. He's going to go for that cross. No, he's not. He's going to pass it across again. And, I mean, I really wish he'd just save it like that. It, it just looks a weak shot, and yet it's still saving it like that. Good interception. Mate. Oh, <laughs> why on earth have just passed it straight back to him? That is my fault. Easy, easy chance to get rid of there. Got a little bit about him in terms of dribbling. Like, he definitely can can make it work. Right, should we try this again? Got another penalty. Is he going to leave before we get to take it? 90 penalties. I'm going bottom right. I don't normally go bottom. Bags it. Ah, oh. Big header down. Little through ball. Like, I mean, in terms of the basics, he does them very, very well. But, I mean... I'm not, I don't, I don't think I'm blown away from the card. I think he's a good card, but I don't know. I kind of expected a little bit more from him. And I think that just might be having to play with your Cruyffs and, and all of them and seeing how good they are as, as they should be. That, that naturally is like, don't get me wrong. Love the intercept, love the long ball pass. The pace increase is nice, but I, I would be interested to see. That's a different ball. I'd be interested to see where his price goes because it definitely would have a reflect like if you were looking at this card and it was free free 400k i think most definitely i'd be like okay this that's a great ball as well is he going across goal i was gonna say you're not chipping me from there but if it was like 300 400k you'd be sitting there and thinking oh okay that's really not that bad for for such a high rated card but at six seven hundred i'm like is it too expensive because i don't see the massive appeal like especially with some of the center mids that we've got some of the even just some of the cdms we've got the level of either the sbc that you had to do or the price tag on him i feel like there's going to be better out there for a lot cheaper and that that's the hard point now where we've got a catalog of so many cards it's unbelievable Good turn. Definitely got a better agility. Ball control. Everything's a lot smoother than previous ones. The Thunderstruck was nice, but you could definitely tell he, ju he just wasn't dribbling <laughs> dribbling material by any shadow of imagination. Ball back forward. He's just... Yeah, he is. He's, he's, he's a basics mechanic. He's, he's brilliant at that basics. That would have been a nice ball if I got it sooner. <laughs> Get the header. But going into the overall form then. So he's currently coming in at 680, give or take. What's everybody else at? Because we've dropped, he's dropped a lot. He was about 4.5 mil. Prince is now 100, extinct, 480. Dropped half a mil, give or take. Berbatov, now now down another 100k, down a mil. They, they are getting there. And, and granted, we what, we're 10? No, how many hours? Six. We're six hours into the pro into the promo, so it makes sense. And when these are the only cards, it kind of makes sense that these are going to be packed more, I suppose. Mainly out of the, uh, the the premium packs anyway, the promo packs. But in terms of him as a card, what I wanted to see is who else is this similar? Because at 600k, I, I just think he might be that little bit expensive. We've got him at 700. 
if we then go 450, because I do see him dropping massively. I can't see him being 600 still for the longest time. If then we go into the midfield, we are going to see Xabi Alonso at the top. Lam, even Beckham. Like it, Beckham was fantastic. Bit of a different seat at centre mid. Kind of more of a centre mid cam rather than the CDM. Makes sense. We've got Rodri 91. Very nice. Matthias is up there. Yaya Toure now as well. He's he yeah he he's a bit expensive for what I can imagine. I could see him more around Essien sort of level. He's a little bit better in in attributes because he isn't just solely a DM. He has got them centre mid capabilities as well, which is where the big shooting increases happened. Obviously, a bit more passing, which he was already pretty good at. To be honest, I thought he had better passing. Then obviously the defending's gone up, the physical physicality of him. It's just he needs that polishing off. It's it's almost now like he's at that stage before he really gets. A crazy card. And I don't know. Did he get a big card last year? No, he didn't. FIFA 23. So he literally... Oh, no, in fact, no. Did he? Oh, he got the 92. I mean, this card's better than that one, to be fair to him. So I don't know what I was kind of thinking. I thought he had, like, a, a big card at the end. I didn't think it was a cover star. I'm pretty sure that was... A, I don't even know if he's been on a cover, to be honest. You know, one of the kind of, like, alternative covers, maybe. But in terms of this card, then, we're looking at the anchor... You're looking at a solid DM. He's got that pace. 89 is decent enough. 96, 95 is very, very good. Turns him into a 95 CDM. Then, obviously, when you look at the dribbling side of stuff, we've got a big increase on, obviously, the ball control at uh, the the ball control, the agility balance and the dribbling itself. Composure was already class. Passing's already at a decent level, like 96, 95 is more than, you, more than you need. And to be honest with him, I don't really need him as a shooting center mid CDM because I'll have somebody else. I want him as that DM, that defensive line that absolutely works. And I think he does that to a good level. I just think at this point in the market, he could be cheaper. And, and that's just it. When we look at something like the foot birthdays, what do we got? It's not a very good example when we've got 1.2 mil for a De Jong, but something like, even Grace is not at that level. We, we're not got, I'm pretty sure we had like another centre mid that came in and, and was brilliant, but do I know their name? Probably not. No, by the, by the looks of it, I can't remember their name. It might have been in fantasy, but again, that was... It's a different sort of promo because it's based around if they get upgraded. That's why you pay a little bit less and, and kind of if they do get up, brilliant. If you don't, then you, you don't. So it'll be interesting to see where he does fit. I could see him, depending on how many big packs they get, he's going to be ones that you could pack if out of the icons, like out of the icons, Ashley Cole, Xabi Alonso, Prince. Bobby Charlton, not really. Cruyff, probably not. Carfu's going to be a very lucky shout. It's going to be predominantly them three rather than the other three. And this is before the mini release, whether that's, again, more cheaper cards or it's going to be one big card and cheaper, more heroes and icons. We don't know. Overall-wise, I'd, I'd give him a solid nine. I don't know if I'd quite go ten, but nine, I think intercept is perfect. Lumble pass works and the stats are nice, but he just wasn't a wow card.